15 facts you didn't know about Albania. Without further ado let's get started. You probably didn't know about the small country that possessed both an Ionian and Adriatic coastline. Albania is a country in southeastern Europe on the Balkan Peninsula and spans across an area of 11,100 square miles. The neighboring countries include Macedonia, Greece, Kosovo, Serbia, and Montenegro. Number 1. Albanians do not call their country Albania, instead the name for the nation in its mother tongue is Shkaperi. Albania has been an independent country for 105 years. During that time, it's become an increasingly popular tourist destination. It attracts beachcombers, foodies interested in unique traditional cuisine, and history buffs looking for a rich cultural heritage. Number 2. Tirana. The capital of Albania has a lot of things in common with other European capitals, except one. It's one of the only capitals without a McDonald's, another is Vatican City. Tirana is the heart of the country with a vibrant and youthful atmosphere. Post-communist transformation is most apparent here. It's practically unrecognizable from its old self. Colors decorate the buildings, more public squares and pedestrian streets, as well as new businesses and shoppings. Check out Bloku, where there are great bars. As well as the Grand Boulevard with interesting relics from the Ottoman Empire. Number 3. More Albanians leave outside the country than within. The Albanian diaspora is vast, stretching from its neighbors such as Greece and Italy to further afield nations such as the US and Canada. So much so that it is believed that the number of Albanians living outside Albania is greater than the country's population of nearly 3 million. Hundreds of thousands emigrated following the collapse of the communist regime in 1991 and ensuing economic crisis. Number 4. You can't set your clock by Albanian buses. Albanian buses or vans, called Fergans, have no timetable, they depart when they are full and ready. Number 5. It has just one Nobel Prize winner. Albania's hero, Mother Teresa, though born in the then Ottoman Empire, now capital of Macedonia, she was Albanian. She won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 for her work helping the poor in Calcutta, India. Number 6. Smile and nod has different connotations in Albania. Albanians nod when they mean no. And shake their head when they mean yes. Be careful answering questions with your head. When an Albanian is agreeing with you, they will shake their head. And when they are disagreeing with you they will nod. Be warned and avoid confusion. So basically yes means no, and no means yes. Number 7. It was a communist island. When the communist era ended in 1991, there were roughly 3 million people in the country but only 3,000 cars. Communism isolated the country and for a long time, only party officers were permitted to use cars. In the years since, many more cars have come into the country, and the national preference appears to be Mercedes-Benz. Number 8. Military Bunkers so we've had bunker mentality and bunker islands, but this is the real bunker cherry, on the bunker cake. Albania is littered with bunkers. There are on average 5.7, for every square kilometer and more than 750,000 across the country. Built under the leadership of communist dictator Andrew Hatza, who was fearful of attack by his enemies, just about everyone at that time. The majority of the bunkers were never used and were mostly abandoned after the fall of communism. Number 9. It has loads of flowers. Though small, Albania possesses more than 3,250 species of plants, which accounts for 30% of all flora in Europe. The best places to see the country's colorful stock is its national parks, of which there are 15. Lagara is best for vibrant flora and fauna, while Butrint, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offers archaeological sites that date back to the Romans. Number 10. Europe's Prettiest Towns The Albanian town of Barat, once a frontier town of the Byzantine Empire, is a UNESCO prescribed old town. 
and was rated as one of the most beautiful places in Europe, according to a poll by the Japanese Tourist Board. Number 11. Evening Walk In the evenings, the locals like to walk, but it's not just a walk, known as Zero. It's an official evening walk where every resident comes out to stretch their legs and catch up with their neighbors. In many towns, the roads close to cars, for certain hours. Usually apartment blocks get empty and everyone gathers at various places, walking and talking until nightfall. Number 12. Religion. The majority of Albanians are Muslim. About 70% at last count. A 2011 census shows that about 60% of Muslims are practicing Sunni and Bektashi Shia, making it the largest religion in the country. About 17% are Christian, which makes it the second largest religion. And another 17% are either undeclared or atheist. You're likely to notice a large number of scarecrows in odd places. Albanians believe that a scarecrow placed on a home or other building, while it's under construction, will ward off envy from bad spirits. Sometimes you'll see, a teddy bear serving the same purpose. The odd part, is that the scarecrow or the teddy bear, will be impaled on a rod, or hung by a rope, like a noose. Some, also say that bring good luck. Number 13, Rocky. Rocky is the national drink, but be warned. Rocky, made out in the villages is equal, to about three normal drinks. The Albanian Rocky is quite unique, it's an old school moonshine, made from grapes that is incredibly strong. You'll find it in most bars, but be sure to pay attention to its source. If it comes out of a repurposed plastic bottle, or plain glass jug, you're likely getting a strong homemade Rocky, likely to put hair on your chest. Number 14. Currency. The currency of Albania is called, Lek, and is issued by the Bank of Albania. Frequently used coins are denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50 and 100 Lek. Similarly, most frequently used bank notes are 200, 500, 1000 Lek. Sometimes Albanians add an extra zero to the end of numbers. Albanians do this not to be shady, but rather out of habit, since that is the difference between the old lek and new lek. For instance, someone might say you owe 1000 lek, what they really mean is that you owe 100 lek. 1 US dollar equals 109.7 lek, approximately. 1 euro equals 135.7 lek, approximately. Number 15, haircut. After you get a haircut, you get slapped on the neck. After you get slapped, the slapper will say me shandy, meaning, on your health. If you found this video interesting leave a big thumbs up. Let me know what was the most unusual, funny or interesting fact that you didn't know about Albania. Also if you would like to suggest a future topic, leave a comment down below and let me know, what is it. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. There are a lot of interesting upcoming videos.